Okay, today we're going to talk about the semicolon. We're going to look at two uses for the semicolon, and I'll give you some examples when to use it and uh, how to use it. So the semicolon, the first example I'll show you here is to separate two main clauses. So if I have a sentence like, I like apples, I like bananas. All right, sometimes uh, you will see cases where a comma splice will be used, and we typically want to avoid a comma splice. And one of the ways we can correct a comma splice is by just simply using a semicolon. So in this example, we have a semicolon separating two main clauses. Notice that we're not using a uh, coordinating conjunction uh, in the case of uh, a compound sentence. So we do have a compound sentence here, but we don't have the coordinating conjunction. We're using a semicolon instead. We could certainly change this and write this with the coordinating conjunction here with and. Could be one of the fanboys, right? So uh, we could use this. And I usually suggest to my students to use the comma when you're using a compound sentence. Uh, because most examples of compound sentences will be a lot longer than this. Typically, in a sh very short compound sentence like this, the comma is not necessary. But just to avoid confusion, I suggest using it because, again, most compound sentences are going to be quite, uh, quite long. And so uh, this is one of the uses for semicolons. So we'll go back here. And we want to use a semicolon in this case when both of the main clauses uh, relate to each other. They're, they're very much related. So we don't always want to use a semicolon. Sometimes I see this with students that they tend to overuse the semicolon. So, you know, for the most part, use it sparingly. Again, you're going to use it on those uh, special cases where both main clauses highly relate to each other. So let me just uh, write it out here. We use a semicolon to separate Two main clauses. Now the second use here um, will be, let me show you first by example. Okay, so here we have an example where we have a series within a series. So you'll notice that at the, the highest level, we are separating uh, we're separating the foods into categories. So we've got fruits here, apples, oranges, and bananas. We have fruits, then we, then we have a semicolon, fish, semicolon, and then uh, carrots, uh, which, will, which are vegetables. So here we have a second series where we have a series of fruits, apples, oranges, and bananas. So here we have a case where we have, we'll use commas to separate, in this case, fruits, and then a semicolon to separate fruits and meats and vegetables. So, and so this would be another example, and I'll just call this series within a series. Series within a series. And here we're going to be uh, using the Oxford comma or the serial comma in this case. Sometimes it's not used, but for the most part we will be using it uh, according to APA, it is to be used, and uh, I think it's used more often than not in, in English. In other languages, for example, Spanish, it tends not to be used, um, but uh, we're going to be using the Oxford comma or the serial comma, and uh, here we have an example of using commas for the, uh, the lower level series, and then the semicolon for the upper level uh, series. So just a quick review in looking at uh, two common uses for the semicolon.